All right, so back to this. Uh, again, actually, again, still holding off on uh, the Omari videos. Uh, I'll make those probably once I'm done with this show. Uh, but again, I've kind of, at least since this is only a one season show, right? Uh, again, I've kind of been holding off. want to get all, kind of everything out on this show. Uh, and then I'll go back to those videos, right? And I'll probably take another break between when I watch the next show. Between then, at least, and when I watch the next show. So, there's that out of the way, right? And then, also, right, again, this show referring to Violet Evergarden, right? Just for some background context. So, as of this recording in this video, I'm through episode 6. So, I, I'll probably end up watching episode 7 to 8 tonight. And then I'll probably finish it out, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, the next 5 tomorrow. So, and then I'll have just the rest of the videos I want to make on this show, depending on, again, you know, what direction it goes. And I'm only halfway through, so who knows how it could fucking go, right? Uh, probably the biggest question is, you know, is the Major actually dead, or are they going to pull the rug out from under us and be like, oh, he's actually alive, right? You know, he's a, he's a kicking it somewhere, right? But uh, who knows, right? Again, we'll see. I guess I'll see in the next couple of days whenever I finish it, but... Again, that's where I am. And then that's also, again, kind of the motivation or reasoning behind this video. I don't exactly know what I'm going to title it yet. Or I guess I know somewhat, and I'll probably title it something along the lines of uh, uh, the importance of, like, side characters or, like, the use of side characters or something like that. Pretty much just, again, you know, whatever I end up titling it, right? I'm pretty much just going to talk about how great this show's use of side characters is. All, I already made the video again on, and I finally figured out a title, uh, Changing Destiny and Reforming Purpose, right? And that was something to where, again, I was talking about how, uh, pretty much, because obviously, you know, that's what the main character, Vi like herself, Violet Evergarden herself, right? It's about, right? It's like, you know, she's a tool, a weapon, right? But ultimately, right, you know, now that the war is over, now what? You know, what, what now? And then also, especially with the Major's supposed dying wish, right? You know, live you know, live free, right, or go on and live free or something, him saying the words like, I love you, and her trying to find meaning in that, again, that's, that's what that was about, but something else this show does really well, because I'm really enjoying the show so far, uh, something else the show does really well, and I'm now just noticing this in, like, what's it called, from the past couple or a few uh, episodes I watched, is how well it does side characters, and explains a story regarding the side characters there, Specifically with episodes five and six, five where you have the princess, and then again, you know, Violet goes to be kind of her, uh, what would you call it, you know, the doll or whatever to write uh, the letters. And then six when she's working with, uh, I don't even remember the dude's name. <laughs> again, it's not in the title of the show. When she goes to work with the dude on transcribing, you know, ancient, you know, uh, manuscripts or whatnot, right? And then they end up going seeing the observation or observe, like, whatever the uh, uh, interstellar, like, uh, comet, or what, what would they call it, like, constellation, or no, it was actually a comet. Uh, they go and, like, to the observatory, see that together, right? One the one thing this show does really well, and I haven't seen it in really any show I've watched so far, I'd say, um, again, is doing, like, side characters really well like this, right? And I don't mean reoccurring characters. So, like, obviously, we have some reoccurring characters in the show. We got the lieutenant... The colonel appeared, like, at the end of fucking episode 5, and then just, it didn't pick up with that. I guess we'll see, right, in the next ones. Um, you've got, obviously, the rest of the dolls. But what I mean by side characters is, like, characters that appear for, like, one episode or for a small amount of time that aren't necessarily reoccurring. That, again, we get to see kind of a story for. And then what they, like, represent there, right, and what they do for the story there, right? More so what they do for the main character. Because besides, and that that's what these past two episodes I'm noticing have done really well is again show the story of the princess and then also the uh you know whoever the uh transcriber is right you know show their stories right give them a good story and compelling story there but also show how they impact Violet Evergarden in that way right because obviously you know she's impacted those side characters by being with them I mean she literally set up the fucking marriage for the princess and then she gave the uh who I don't even know what his title would be like the transcriber confidence to go look for his parents right and like wander and travel the world there but they also it's it's reciprocal right it's inverse they also have an impact on violet there right the princess had an impact on again violet actually going outside of her duties in order to set that up right or outside of her 
I guess, like, what would you call it, like, a contract as a doll or whatever, right? Um, again, and that's something you would never expect from someone like her, right? You know, it was all about rules and literally come came from a fucking military life, like, literally grew up that and knew nothing outside of that. So, like, all of those rules. And then her actually making that decision to go outside of the rules, right, and outside of the boundaries of her contract there. Again, that's a pretty big deal, you know, that's a pretty big thing, that's, and that's how the princess impacted her. But then also in the <clears throat> episode with the transcriber, right, we also see, again, her actually, well, not only defending him, right, because, again, just because she kind of grew up a similar life there. But then we also see her again, kind of, and as it's, it's reciprocal, right? So, like, as she gives him the confidence to, again, go, like, search for, like, his parents or whatnot, right? He's also, again, through the questions he asked her, right? He's kind of making her realize, like, what her, like, relationship and what, again, you know, the major means to her and what it means to be lonely. She's like, so this heavy heart, this is what loneliness feels like. Then I guess I've felt lonely ever since I've been away from him. So, again, it's, it's a mute because it's, it, it's such a good thing. And, again, you know, for what would you call it, right? You know, it, it makes more sense in, like, one-season shows, or like shorter shows at least like one or two seasons the kind of shows that I watch for them to have these side characters that pop up in one episode but again having them in those side characters specifically um again having them pop up tell their own story right and then them get impacted by the main character but also have that again it have it be reciprocal there and they have an impact on the main character as well Again, and the main character moving forward, right, Whatever for whatever future trials and tribulations, you know, they're developed because of the impacts that the artists have had on them. Again, it's just so good. And again, you know, for, again, because those two are seemingly non-recurring characters, right? You know, because it's also part of her job. And also, that that's a very good opportunity to make use of those side characters there since she's a traveler, right? I mean, it's literally her fucking job. You know, it makes sense why she would have these interactions and, you know, these one-time, you know, encounters. But again, it's just, again, it's just so good. Because, like, let's, for example, right? And I mean by, like, because not reoccurring characters, right? Because, <clears throat> again, right? Most shows have, like, recurring characters where they're side characters, but they recur. So they're not really side characters. They're kind of, like, main characters, right? Part of the cast or whatever, right? But I, but I mean, like, the side characters, I mean, like, truly side characters, where they show up and then just bounce, right? You know, after their spotlight. And again, it just does such a good job. I can't even really think of any other show I saw that made or utilized that so far, right? Like, Kakiguri, I don't, again, I don't recall, you know, for, with the exception of a few rounds of gambling i don't think so because most of the characters ended up being brought into the fold right or ended up appearing later um again what did i watch before that mysterious girlfriend that that definitely did not it, it was very tight that show focused on like five people and no one else so what did i watch before that uh high rise invasion that show did somewhat a decent job but but again they kept bringing them back into the fold so I'd say th that show actually did not too bad of a job of this same thing. A, a lot of the characters ended up being, you know, masks that were beaten by the main characters there. Uh, so Hyrule's Invasion also did a pretty good job of that. And again, it was mostly in the form of the masks that were beaten. But again, so that show actually did a pretty good job on this as well. And funny enough, it's also one season. Uh, what did I watch before that? Before that, I ended up watching, um, was it Little Witch Academia? It may have been. Or no, I think it was BNA. And then before that was Little Witch Academia. BNA didn't really have that. Um, again, most of the characters there were reoccurring, right? A little, same with Little Witch Academia. But, but again, besides the point. So I guess High Rise Invasion also did that fairly good with its fucking reoccurring characters. Uh, again, or more, not reoccurring characters, but like side characters who get their moment in the spotlight and then are like... Except in Hires Invasion, they're killed off. And in this show, they're just not seen again, right? Big difference there. But again, right? It's just something I, I really wanted to talk about. Because the big thing I noted with this show, and like what, at least going through what seemingly does well. I'm interested to see what her fucking interaction with the Colonel will end up like. Especially, presumably, he's going to be the one to, you know, reveal the news that the Major's dead. Because the Major's literally his brother. So he'll be like, oh, and we knew that the Colonel was the one who found her. I mean, she even recognized him. So it's like again so we'll, we'll see how that ends up playing out um and again it's something to where like another video i kind of wanted to make was uh, again on in 
but I'm just going to mention it or bring it up now is again, how her improving with actually being able to write letters shows kind of, again, right? Her reforming her purpose, her kind of accepting that, right? But then also her again, you know, changing her destiny there, right? She wants to not only find out what love means, but it's grown beyond that. She wants to, again, you know, be that emotion for people now. And she's succeeding in being that auto dar or whatever. Again, and this was something that I mentioned in the first video I made, change of destiny and reform purpose. That again, she'll eventually, she'll, because by that point she hadn't, you know, she wasn't good at it at all, right? You know, she hadn't even passed the academy. So by that point, it's like, again, she was still improving and working on it there. But then it was also something to where it was like, uh, again, right? What that uh, comes down to is that, yeah, now that, um, what's it called? But now she is, right? Again, now she has uh, done that. It will be something to where, again, and w this is also kind of what we're segueing into. Now that she's done that, you know, she needs to ask the question, like, you know, who is she? And figure that out, the more fundamental question. So, again, but I, I didn't want to make an entire separate video on that. I was just going to lump that in this video. Because, again, that's part of, again, and she's also, and that's part of why. Because she's also evolving through these uh, side characters that she meets. She gains their, uh, she learns from them, again, right? Just as they learn from her. So, and they uh, change, again, each other, right? So, just, just does such a good job there. Yeah, this is such a good show so far. I'm really liking it. Uh, I'd, I'd say not as, uh, at least now, right? But we'll see about the ending. I'd say not as good as Kaki Guru. But, again, the, the show, that ending, right, was kind of like, ooh, left a bad taste in my mouth. So, we'll see, we'll see, right? But, again, I'm so I'm really enjoying it. And I'm, I'm really enjoying kind of, again, you know, it's... Because it's, it's very clearly post-World War One. You know, that's the... Obviously, they make up the fucking country names or some bullshit, right? You know, but it, that's very clearly the aesthetic it's supposed to give off. So, something to where it's like, again, right? In terms of that, they're uh, kind of enjoying that. Granted, no idea where the fuck she... I, I, I assume the show would answer that. But no, I still have no clue where the fuck she got her arms from. We knew she lost her organic one. So, it's like, where'd she get this, like, fucking high-tech, you know... Uh, prosthetics from but i assume the show will answer that hopefully right if not it'll be like ah shit that's kind of a disappointment there but who knows right but at least in terms of that yeah and we still love everyone's reaction to fucking seeing her arms that's that's hilarious whenever she takes off the glove and everyone's like shit that because i feel like like because think of like a normal person right because because you obviously you see them and i've seen people without fucking uh limbs before right you know, because you see them and then it's like, well, if they're not wearing a prosthetic, then it's just like a noticeable lack of limb there. So, at least in terms of that. But if they are, because here's the thing, regardless, you know, if you come across someone with like missing limbs, like in this case, because your mind always starts going to, okay, how did they lose it? You know, it could be something as simple, because obviously in her case, she lost them in war, right? I don't want to say that's everyone's, or that's, you know, always the case, or that's what everyone jumps the gun and assumes. Because there's also things like people just lose them in accidents, right? You know, accidents as well. Uh, again, just simple. Also simple like, you know, uh, birth defects. That could also be a thing as well, right? You know, in fact, I think that's prob... Uh, don't quote me on this. That's probably the biggest reason uh, that people are, like, missing limbs and shit. But most likely do, like, birth defects. Uh, again, don't quote me on that. Because that, that's just me pulling that bullshit from my fucking brain, right? But anyway, I'm getting off topic. But it's, it, it's something to where it's, again, you know... It's a good show, and I can't wait to see what it has to offer. My guess is that we're, we're going through this journey now, right? But soon, at least, and I'm saying this post-episode 6, soon, you know, we're going to kind of need to get into probably, okay, continue off from the colonel and her interaction. You know, get into the nitty-gritty of, like, the story and plot and, like, the climax of the show. And ultimately, whenever, when she's going to learn that the major's supposedly dead, and when we'll learn how she got her up, so... But that being said, I don't really have anything else. Uh, that's pretty much all I had. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.